when you want to get off that darkest ground the gravity pulls you straight down earth from a bird's eye view you should grow feathers and see this too when you want to get today and so the match is underway here are the starters for Arsenal Bernd Leno begins in goal Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the center of the pitch and leading the line today Alexandre Lacazette well here's how Leicester City will line up Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Johnny Evans plays with Chalar Soyuncu in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And the lead striker today is Jamie Vardy. Oh, frustration for those waiting in the middle.
Tielemans. Plenty of options. Vardy. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Chambers. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. James Madison. Here's Tielemans. Oh, Jose Perez. Perez. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Lacazette. Here's Tielemans. Barnes. Vardy. Vardy! In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Madison, and a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. And the forward run by Lacazette with the ball at his feet. He has options around him. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. And very deftly cut out. He continues his run. Obama Yang. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Harvey Barnes, counter-attacking, very much an option. Vardy. Clean challenge. Chance to finish. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, almost at half-time, and Arsenal still trailing here. Work to do, I think it's fair to say. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. An alert intervention. Obama Yang. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Lacazette. And look at that. A goal here for Arsenal, who now have got themselves on terms. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Tierney, spot on with that tackle. Encouraging move from Leicester. Inside he goes. Marvellous anticipation. Tierney. Well, catching the eye of the first half, certainly Nicola Pepe. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, that's exactly what his team needed because they weren't at their best in the first half. And once again, it shows what a key player he is. Can they build on that in the second 45? Well, sloppy in possession. Vardy. Madison with it. Into the advanced position. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Intercept. 
Granit Xhaka. Thomas Partey in the right place to cut out the pass. Pepe. Lacazette! And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Chambers. Now with Pepe. Moving it forward. Pepe. And blocked for now. And given away. A Jose Perez. Well, it could be on for him here. It's still alive. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Chambers. Regained possession. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Aubameyang, teammate and support. Now able to close down the short. Opportunity, Lacazette. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. So back underway. 3-1 the score. And the referee has awarded the free kick. He tried to play advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. Partey. A very good tackle. Well, there's no getting away from it. Arsenal are cruising, Stuart. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. And they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Can he get one back? Really sound defending. Well, threat over for now. Over the touchline for a throw in. And we've entered the final five minutes. Disappointing pass. Vardy. Now Ndidi. Tielemans. Perez. Can he finish? Really important tackle. Well, there goes the final whistle. And really annoying for Leicester and their fans.
aqui. Jacker plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield and leading the line today, Alexandre Lacazette. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Arsenal being afforded too much room. but really sticking to the task defensively. Poibier, given away by Spurs. An encouraging Arsenal move. The save was a good one. Playing it in. And the danger cleared. 
Tremendous challenge. Partey. Can he give them the lead? And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Trying to deliver it accurately. Oh, it's in! The opening goal of the derby! And listen to what it means! <laughs> well, back underway here. How will Spurs reply to that setback? It is to be a throw in. Kane. This attack looks highly promising. And a very good challenge. And teammates to play it to. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Pepe. And like a Z. And here's Partey. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Skip. And now passing it through and a goal here for Tottenham who have evened things up so a level contest 1-1 Thomas now Callum Chambers Granite Jacker. Ben White read it well Lucas Matt Doherty well Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position but quick thinking defensively Deli Alley skip Well read to put an end to that attack. Aubameyang. Lacazette. No high quality defending. Harry Kane. And Hoybier with it. Kane and Spurs moving the ball with purpose but nothing comes of it Deli Alley. here's Lucas Moura an alert piece of defending well not quite what he wanted to do with the pass Son on to Deli So the whistle then, we're up the half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Party. Now Lacazette. Obama Young. An encouraging Arsenal move. High quality defending. Well, one man. Oh, who Derek, this is a big moment here. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Underway once more, Tottenham have the lead. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And a timely intervention. Lacazette. Now with Pepe. Very quick thinking there. Given away by Tottenham. 
30 minutes to go then sloppy in possession from Arsenal and Kane comes into the move good looking attack this Lacazette and taking it away Matt Doherty Lucas Moura veering in field here no foul Spurs advantage Well, just listen to these Arsenal fans. They're certainly driving their team forward here. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, not the touch on the ball he wanted. And a goal kick to come. Thomas Partey has lost it and with that the attack fizzles out can they hit on the break Aubameyang Harry Kane committed challenge Partey. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. Well, not to be. He had moved into an illegal position. Well, it's great that he wants to run in behind, but he has to get the timing right. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. They have to show a commitment to attack Arsenal in these trying circumstances. Son. And out of play it goes, alas. They've lost possession here, Arsenal. Bad pass. Kane. Kane. Oh, a smart save. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Well, just went a bit too early, offside. The final whistle, and the Gunners go down. They've...
great to desire. It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Johnny Evans plays with Chalar Soyuncu in central defence. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside Wilfred Ndidi in the engine room. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Hey, Pierre. Oh, great defending. Can they forge ahead? And still danger here. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Bertrand. Madison. Textbook defending inside the box. Are they going to forge ahead? underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next and it crossed the touchline so a throw in here a Jose Perez Ndidi Madison with it Crisp tackling. Throw in here for Spurs. Delhi. How can they make one of these passes count? An off target by Miles with that one, and a goal kick will ensue. James Madison on to Perez. Madison and Didi in the perfect position to read it. Deli Alley. Lucas with it. Now Harry Kane on the move. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Lucas Mora. And Hoybier with it. Kane. Well, no way through. Ndidi Iheanacho Madison Iheanacho Iheanacho and throwing himself up the ball and deciding to go short with this one and towards Iheanacho far post oh it's off the post And they've won the ball back following that challenge. Second half underway then. And still reflecting on what was a not only dominant first half showing by Leicester. Will it be more of the same from the Foxes? And 
Iheanacho has it. An alert piece of defending. Harry Kane. Losing possession a bit easily. Has a go! How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. Favouring the short one. Galecci Iheanacho at the back post. Oh, off the post. Still alive. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Given away by Tottenham. Harvey Barnes. Tielemans. Can they find a gap in the defence? Here's Tielemans. Couldn't keep the ball. So a half an hour remaining. Skip. Lucas with it. Lucas Moura. How about the cross? Pulls it back. And a timely intervention. Well, as the stats confirm, Leicester have had the lion's share of possession, and that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent, and they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Well, he's lost the ball. Losing the ball, Deli Alley. Skipping away. Can he make it count? And a goal! Just can't keep them quiet. Well, the action underway again with Leicester very much in command. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. It's a weighted pass. Good technique displayed. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And Spurs showing good wits. Can they get in behind them? Timely intervention. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Perez might be able to get in behind the defence well, time just challenged magnificently good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch Leonacho and the flag has gone up well he has to work a lot harder to stay onside there he didn't read the situation at all Lucas now Harry Kane Oliver Skip. Kane. Deli Alley. Here's Kane. And Kane saw his pass intercepted. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. So the final whistle, and it's a story of defeat for Spurs in this one.
And so the battle commences. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Granit Xhaka plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Wilfred Ndidi starts with Yuri Tielemans in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Chambers. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Nicolas Pepe. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. James Madison. Now Ian Atcher. And Ian Atcher has it. Chance maybe. Well, threat averted. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Lacazette! Might still be able to do a bit of damage. And turned out of play, so it will be a throw-in. Strong but fair tackle. A bit of running room now on the wing. And pull back. Can they forge ahead? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Lacazette. Granite Jacker. Now Lacazette. Still passing it around with authority. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Partey. Good tackle. Harvey Barnes. Now Ian Atcher. A Jose Perez. Perez. Really vital interception here. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Options in the centre. Well, he couldn't quite hit the target, Stuart. Well, it's a decent effort, but I don't think it was ever going to trouble the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight, and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon, and then we might get some entertainment. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be?
Encouraging move from Leicester. Cutting the ball back. In position. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. And doing his opponent. Madison. Well, oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. And with that, the first half draws Nicolas Pepe. Second half underway then. Leicester have the lead, but it's a long way from being settled. Iheanacho. Delightful pass. Thomas. Well, Ricardo Pereira acquitted himself very well in that first half. What did you think of what you saw from him? Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Pulls it back. No way through. Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper. To be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It was always going to be difficult to score from there. Indeedy. That's a well-struck pass. Now, let's see what they can do here. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And a no-nonsense clearance. And breaking at pace with Menace. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, could be! Defensive excellence there! Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? On a corner like that, every goalkeeper's dream, really. Indeedy. Justin. Now Indeedy. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Can he put it away? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, getting in the way, superb save. But he's gone short with it. To the owner of the green convertible Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well read to ease the pressure. 20 minutes to go. And Leicester come away with it. Iheanacho, oh, in with a chance! Able to get his body in the way. What a decisive punch by the keeper. And a corner coming up as Leicester pushed to add to their lead. Harvey Barnes. Well, that header was never going to be problematic for the goalkeeper. Bad pass. Tielemans. Thomas Partey Chambers Arsenal have given it away Harvey Barnes I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion well perhaps not a high percentage chance for him well although he was always going to be second to the ball the defender just about did enough to stop him getting a clean header there It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Options in the centre. Partey has lost it. And it comes to... He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. Iheanacho has it. 
This could be it. A really good stop at the critical stage. Well, had that gone in, there was no way back. Not much time left now, though. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Can he finish this? And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Well, successfully cut out. Pepe. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. And that will be that. The referee says enough. It's Nicolas Pepe.
Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno is the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. Kane. And he's won the ball. Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position. Deli Alley. Rebier. Here's Lucas Mora. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Number 27. Are back underway. And 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Lacazette Tierney giving the ball to the opposition that time and he stopped them just when they looked menacing Kane Incredible save, and he stuffed out the danger. Granite Jacker. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang. Possession changing hands. Deli Ali. Deli. And Hoybier with it. Kane. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And he read it well defensively. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Lacazette. Thomas now. Granit Xhaka. Aubameyang. It looks promising. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Delhi. Skip. And now passing it through. Wonderful save by Bert Leno. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. Pepe. Ball is loose. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. They had to take it away. Pepe. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. And Aubameyang in the centre. And cleared away. No way through. The first half here comes to... Fabier. So the ball rolling in the second half. Spurs with the advantage, but no room for complacency. Lucas. And Hoybier with it. Kane. Son. Here's Deli Alley. The end product just wasn't there. Well, a lot to like about Lucas Moura and his performance in the first half. What did you make of it, Stuart? 
but it was certainly a good first 45 minutes for the lad. Obviously, he got his goal to put them in front, but he's looked lively throughout too. Hopefully, we see more of him in the second half. Rebier. Harry Kane moving into the advanced position, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And the counter attack is on, options available. And it's going to run through to the keeper here. Read it superbly to take back possession. Javier. Oliver Skip. Lucas. Lucas Mora. Here's Kane. Regained possession. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. In with a chance! And choosing finesse, he might be wishing he hadn't. Well, it's good vision, but not the skill to match, I'm afraid. Deli Alley. Well, can they be creative from here? And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Substitution time it is. Well, some referees might have elected to hand out the yellow card, but no booking on this occasion. It's there for him, and a fantastic diving save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Thomas. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Granit Xhaka. And back with Xhaka. Tremendous ball played through. And it's gone in beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. Lacazette here. Moving forward effectively. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. And the substitution will occur now. Lacazette. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Harry Kane. Javier. Tension building still level. Kane. Lucas Moura. Well, the danger was on, but just a fraction offside. Bukayo Saka. Gabriel Martinelli. Now Callum Chambers. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Partey. Now Lacazette. And that'll be offside. Well, the referee blows the whistle. Nothing to divide them after 90. Hey, Pierre.
comes to you from the English Midlands from the King Power Stadium I'm Derek Ray ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case 
It's Leicester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Iannaccio has it. On and on he goes. And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Ndidi. Iannaccio. A real struggle to contain him. Tielemans. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Harry Kane. Son. Lucas Moura. Determined defending. Iannaccio. Harvey Barnes. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Harry Kane. Oliver Skip. Kane. And would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, visionary passing. Opportunity for Ian Acho. Brilliantly blocked. Reguilon. Now Ndidi. High quality defending. Skip. Now with Delhi. Fabier. On to Delhi. Reguilon. Spurs pushing forward with options available, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Harvey Barnes. Madison. Opportunity here. Surely he knew he had to make the tackle and did. Delhi. And that's an important intervention. Kane. Skip. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Once more, Spurs have lost the ball. And possession given away. Javier. And dispossessed. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Now they've lost it. No foul. Spurs advantage. Reguilon. Deli Alley. Now the managers will now deliver the. Well, the ball is moving again. Spurs trailing going into the second half. Can they summon the right response? Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Deciding to go inside. Ndidi. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half.
and breaking at pace with Menace. Deli Alley. Oh, good use of the ball. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Promising sequence. And return to Son. Oh, fancy footwork. And a goal here for Tottenham, who have evened things up. Number 10, Harry Kane. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Oh, Jose Perez Ndidi encouraging move from Leicester precise ball movement can they forge ahead well they would have done had it not been for the keeper well they should be ahead now yes it was a good save Derek but he should score from there that's very decisive goalkeeping growing pressure here and another corner well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Now having fallen behind, what sort of response will that elicit from the Spurs team? Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. And into the last 20 minutes. Scoreline here. James Madison. Ianacho. And blocked for now. How about the cross? Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Fabier. Ten minutes to go. It's a weighted pass. Struggling to get it away. Danger averted for now. Ricardo Pereira. Here's Tielemans. Ndidi. Madison. On to Perez. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Well, not long to go now. And a good day at the office for Leicester City, Stuart. Well, they've been much the better side up to now. Some of their approach play has been excellent. They just need to control position. Oh, Stuart, they've got to score. Still can be dangerous. They're making high pressing work for them here. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? So the final whistle.
Picked up Player of the Year award in 1988 when playing for West Ham against Chelsea. It was a big day. We won the game 4-1 and Chelsea were relegated. So I've got good memories of the game. Hopefully that's the case again today. Well, let's see what happens. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Issa Diop plays with Angelo Ogbonna in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Crossing opportunity. Rice. Rice with it. This is looking threatening. But they took care of the situation defensively. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays oh, with a big moment here. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Back playing again. West Ham with the advantage. Well, 
high quality defending. The pass intended for Romelu Lukaku. It is now with Jorginho. And taking it away. And space available inside. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Pulisic. Lukaku. On to Jorginho. Chilwell. Conte. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Lukaku. Lukaku! And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Can someone get on the end of this? A deft clearance. A reminder that the reserves are in action tomorrow. If you'd like more ticket details, have a look at... Well, he was in the right place to intercept. And happy to just cushion it back to the keeper. Jorginho. Chilwell. On to Jorginho. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Given away by Chelsea. Lanzini Pablo Fornals with it promising looking attack from West Ham Pablo Fornals and touched onto the frame of the goal Pulisic an effective challenge well, what can they do to stop him running at them oh could it be Antonio Lanzini credit to them for winning back possession a really committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw in Mount could play it in can they square the game well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Antonio. Oh, a nice looking pass. Well, the managers will now deliver their half. And the second half underway, West Ham with the lead. But I tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. Lanzini. Antonio. Thiago Silva wins it. defending but brilliant defending seemed to just lose control of the situation he's conceded a corner and the short option preferred oh lovely weighted ball they might be in well perhaps not a high percentage chance for him well although he was always going to be second to the ball the defender just about did enough to stop him getting a clean header there many more than did his job in the first half Manuel Lanzini what did you make of his performance Opportunity it is. Well, a badly timed run, just a fraction offside. Lanzini. Suchek. Read it well. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Jorginho Lukaku he's given it straight to the opposition
Suchek. Here's Manuel Lanzini. For Niles. What can the Hammers do from this position? But nothing comes of it. N'Golo Conte. The delivery towards the back post. Corner given to Chelsea. Now what can they do with it? Well, still an issue here. Danger averted for now. Being pressed hard. For Niles. And return to Four Nows. Lanzini. And it all counts for naught. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, Chelsea unable to retain possession. Wasteful again in possession. Lanzini. Effective challenge. Jorginho. N'Golo Conte. Mount. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. A wonderful intervention. And so into the final five minutes. Oh, good skill, and he's managed to beat his man. Lanzini. This could be it! And it is! He's done it! Surely a case of game over. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Lanzini, strong hand on that one. The final whistle then.
is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. I've been flying from town to town. versus Everton. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Angelo Ogbonna plays with Issa Jop in central defence. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And a throw-in it's going to be. And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Luca Digne plays with Seamus Coleman in the full-back positions. Alan starts alongside Abdoulaye Dukure in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you oh, anticipate here, seeing Derek. from him? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! And Everton get the ball rolling once more. Let's find out how they're going to react to this setback. Coleman. Ducouré. At times, they make passing look easy. Alan. Richarlison. Defensive efficiency personified. Lanzini. What can they do from here? Lanzini, Pablo Fornals, well the keeper reacted magnificently. Coleman, Townsend, on the ball, Richarlison. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Pablo Fornals! Now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. And that's a straightforward stop. Lanzini. It might be. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? So, 2-0 now. And Everton pushing forward with options available. Richarlison, a glorious chance. And oh, it's in! We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. 
So there we have it, 2-1. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Alan. On the ball, Richarlison. Townsend. Good looking cross. That was back to good, but straightforward claim by the keeper. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Ducouré. And here's Alan. Calvert Lewin. Well, the keeper committed himself. Playing it in. Well, he took care of it defensively. Good tackle taken away. Richarlison will be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the second half underway. West Ham with the lead. But I tell you what, it's a long way from being settled. Declan Rice. Richarlison. Ducouré. Townsend. Chance to do damage. Ducouré. And a goal! My goodness, they've changed the course of this game. Level now. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Lanzini. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Poor pass under no real pressure. Antonio. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Declan Rice. Antonio. The possession lost, intercepted. Alan. And on the ball, Keane. Holgate. And can they make one of these passes count? And the attack fades out. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw in here. Ducouré. And here's Alan. Richarlison. Havert Lewin. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Coleman. It's with Ducure. Richarlison. Gray now. Covert Lewin. And a good save. Well, it is a good save. The idea was good, the execution wasn't. Lanzini. Well, time is running out to get this winner, but the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Into the box it goes. Opportunity! Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Gray. 
and here's Alan. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Unable to keep the ball. Ducure. All even, but will it stay that way? Alan. It's with Ducure. And space for the cross. And there's the referee's whistle. These two sides cannot...
Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. As Pili Quetta starts with Ben Chilwell in the fullback positions, Ngoro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today will likely be Romelu Lukaku. And the emphasis is on creativity. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Lukaku. Losing possession here. And a good looking ball. Real chance. A oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Shot attempted. There it is. And just the ideal start. And back underway. 1 0 it is. Aspiliqueta. Conte now. The possession lost, intercepted. Ducure. And Everton pushing forward with options available. Jorginho well, just couldn't keep the ball Mount on to Jorginho well, good use of the ball well, trying to take their time but not enough care on the ball Lucatinha showing a real desire to win it back the cross is on. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Mount. And Chelsea have given it away. A room to roam on the wing. And there's the feed into the box. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Ducure. Coleman. It has to be. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly, the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Pulisic. Intelligent threaded pass here. Lukaku, well there's a keeper on song Well how did he stop that, that's just unbelievable So the corner played into the box And a time for calm on the ball Well as those stats show us, Everton just haven't controlled the possession But they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back I expect more of the same, I think it's been a really good performance from them so far He's given it away you know, Chelsea have an awful lot of space. Well, it was a promising avenue of attack, but the momentum has been halted. You wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Lukaku. And back with Lukaku. And they just let his opponent block. Oh! Chelsea who got themselves on level terms. So back underway, they've leveled it at 1 1 here. Gray. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Made it a bit too easy for his opponent. It's not a bad ball, and that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. And so the first half... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half.
Townsend. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Targets available. Cross comes in. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent. And the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. And played to the front post. Well, the clearance, half-hearted. And I think the threat has been averted. Calvert-Lewin. Here is Digne. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Aspili Quetta. Mount. Just the challenge that was required. Lucadinha. Sounds in. It's with Alan. Calvert Lewin. A glorious chance. Well, fantastic reflex action. Well, no danger now. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. And Chelsea regaining possession. Coleman. On the ball, Andros Townsend. And he did well to cut it out. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Twenty minutes to go in this one. N'Golo Conte. single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened Coleman Townsend teammates in the middle it might still be problematic splendid defending Jorginho Conte and giving it away Ducure. It's with Alan. Tension building still level. Townsend. It's with Ducure. Coleman. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. And Everton pushing forward with options available. And crossing towards the far post. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, they survived the attack. Jorginho. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, could be. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance. And the fans are lapping this up. Well, 2-1 it is here. Do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. Ducure. On and on he goes. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp.
to happen in this all London fixture West Ham United against Chelsea here at the London Stadium my name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me ready to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson Stuart former West Ham player of course what should we be expecting today well if West Ham play at their very best and close Chelsea down and stop them playing they could cause an upset here today they're a good team when they're playing at home this could be a really tight game and as they continue to pass it around, the attacker and fired against the crossbar. And the goalkeeper got there. Well, that could have gone anywhere, but the keepers reacted really well. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. The experienced Lukas Fabianski stands between the posts. Angelo Ogbonna plays with Issa Jop in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. What a chance this is, Derek. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Short corner favourite. Rice. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. And a good take under duress there. Jorginho. It's with Hakim Ziyech. That's Pili Quetta. Just couldn't capitalise there. Antonio Declan Rice Suchek Ball with Pablo Fornals And with that the attack fizzles out Attacking possibilities for Chelsea Well a bit short with the clearance Well they can keep possession of it now Paul Niles. Antonio. Antonio. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Rice. And that was a very fine read. Jorginho Conte Ziyech Conte Paul Niles Antonio Well, possibilities in the centre. Declan Rice. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Got to it easily, the keeper. Ziyech. An authoritative challenge. The first half here comes to an end. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Vladimir Kufal. Here's Manuel Lanzini. Suchek. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Chilwell. Now with Jorginho. Jorginho. Firing it in. 
Well kept out. Delivering it. Not all that convincing defensively. Threat over for now, it seems. Just not looking confident in possession. Declan Rice. Antonio. Antonio! Oh, yes! 1 0 it is! And it doesn't come as a huge surprise! And away they go again. What effect will that goal have on Chelsea? We're going to find out. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Lukaku. Ziyech. It is now with Jorginho. Tremendous block. Nicely timed tackle. For Niles. Crossing possibilities. Lanzini. Declan Rice. Very comfortable when in possession. Lanzini. They've lost it. And they need to get tighter. Lukaku waiting. The chance is on. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. Well, it's almost over, but not quite. The fans still with a bit of nail-biting to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack. And, of course, they've been well-organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. Just 10 minutes to go. The clock is not on Chelsea's side, but it's not over for them. Timely intervention. Well, these West Ham fans are doing everything to get their team over the line here, but can they see it through now? And the ball's been given away by Lukaku. Antonio. Untidy on the ball. Conte. Excellent defending. Lukaku able to get a body in the way. Lukaku. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. So the ball is running again at 1-0. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. It comes to nothing in the end. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of... Fill me up with your smile 
this case. It's West Ham United versus Everton. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Declan Rice. Good tackle. Townsend. And now Dominic Carvert Lewin. Ducure. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Coleman. Well, possibilities in the centre. Alan. Here's Keane. No way through. Now sending it in. Any goalkeeper would accept corner kick deliveries like that every day. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Gray. Oh, he looks threatening. And the cross goes in. Antonio, encouraging move from West Ham. That is tackling of the highest order. Ducure. Here's Keane. Townsend. And a fine cross. For Niles. Pablo Fornals! And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Sounds in. On the ball, Coleman. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. Keane. It's with Ducure. Townsend. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a really powerful effort, but just over the top. Lanzini and fed forwards can they forge ahead can they stop it going in well goal kick just as it was looking promising well the keepers made a good save but you just sense a goal is coming soon Ducure Getting in there to take it away. Well, that is how to play advantage. For Niles. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. A foul, but advantage played. What can the Hammers do from this position? And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Keen. The first half here comes to an end. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Alan 
Here is Digne. Moise Keane. Keeper not concentrating. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, Derek, he did have that effort that hit the woodwork, and he certainly worked hard to get into the match. But sure, he could add a bit more quality to his game in the second 45 to have a real impact on this result. West Ham could get in behind the defence. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded! Well, as you can see, Everton have had most Hang of the Hang on a ball. minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. So 2-0 now. Thirty minutes to go then. And with the goalkeeper. Moise Keane. Alan. Here's Keane. Everton moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Great opportunity! Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Declan Rice. And does well to keep it in play. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Alan. It's with Ducure. Lanzini. Can he take the chance? And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Promising looking attack, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Can they get in behind them? Calvert Lewin. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Masuaku. Opportunity in the wide area. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. So a personnel change then. Number 27, Moise Keane. Coming onto the pitch. Number 7, Michelle. Dukure. On the ball, Coleman. Calvert Lewin. Well, a good tackle. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. For Niles. Corner given. Now referring to the earlier infringement, the referee sees it as a bookable offence. Strongly fisted away, but the keeper takes command. So the referee blows the whistle, and that is...
For plenty of excitement here at Stamford Bridge. But well, he's got past his man. Delivering it into the box. Well, it might still work out for them. Just cleared away in the nick of time. Given away by Chelsea. Promising looking attack from Everton. Chance here. The keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Playing with purpose and control. And well off target in the end. Good pressure from the defender to put him off. Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. Threaded through by Lukaku. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Chance to do damage. And Goro Conte in the middle. And the danger is still there. Threat over for now, it seems. Alan. Here is Digne. Gray. Can he find the net? Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming.
And Golo Conte. Will take it away. He won the ball. Conte. Promising possession, this. It's Callum Hudson Odoi. Lukaku. And moving the ball nicely. Really good challenge. Keen. chance well good technique in terms of how he struck it Alan Gray now Ducure Townsend Gray tremendous intuition to win it back Ducure could be and denied by the keeper impressive he's driven in the corner well let's give him credit for trying it but the execution left a bit to be desired Stuart well I think the idea was right unfortunately the skill wasn't it's well off target in the end well the stats don't lie Everton have had a lot of possession but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far there's been too many well I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity well no excuses he should have scored there and the goalkeeper got really lucky he can't believe it and the quality of pass needs to be a bit better Calvert Lewin James Rodriguez offside close one And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. It is now with Jorginho. Chance to finish. And a fantastic diving save. Corner kick played in. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. And a strong tackle. And the first 45 minutes have come and playing with purpose and control. Well, the referee sounding the second half into action and Chelsea with the lead here. Showing considerable guile. Gray. And an astute piece of defending. Could be a chance to break here. Well, couldn't keep it. Well, he had plenty to say for himself in the first 45. Jorginho, what did you make of what you saw from him? Oh, he can score here, Derek. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the sea stuff. So back underway following the equaliser. Good tackle taken away. Calvert Lewin. Gray. Wonderful chance. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Polisic. Intelligent threaded pass here. He quartered the attack illegally. Now perhaps a card is forthcoming. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. Rudiger. Rhys James. Jorginho. And that is defending of the highest order. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Might take the lead. And a goal! So Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied, how will they respond? Alan, Ducure, 
And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. The high press was very much on. Promising looking attack. Could play it in. Not spot on with that challenge. Everton moving the ball forward with purpose. James Rodriguez prepared to fire. Not away completely. Lukaku. Pulisic now. Super tackle and they've won possession. Alan. Coleman. And now Dominic Carvert Lewin. Gray. James Rodriguez prepared to fire. Oh, late drama here. All level again. Incredible scenes. So the ball is running again at 2 all. And in the end, he's run out of space. Progress made by Chelsea, and at this late stage, a goal could be decisive. Jorginho. It's Callum Hudson-Odoi. In position. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Conte. Romelu Lukaku now. Well read to ease the pressure. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Can they take advantage of the situation? Ducouré. Splendid defending. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton. Playing with purpose and control.
And now they get the ball rolling. Here's the initial 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Corentin Tolisso starts with Leon Goretzka in the centre of midfield. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. Da Costa. He's managed to lose his marker, but he has cause to be grateful to his teammate. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Can they get in behind them? And making sure nothing untoward. And just over the bar. Excellent effort it was. Lost possession. And attempting the through ball. And a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Given away by Bayern Munich. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Leroy Zane. Promising move this from Bayern. And he's fired it against the post. And the right place to cut out the pass. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. 
They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure oh, the, the goal chances will come. On Stewart. Decent shots, but the post getting in the way. Goal kick it is. A bit sloppy in possession. Effective challenge. Lewandowski. And return to Muna. They've won back possession. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. So, and given away. Coleman, real chance. Gibril So. Now he must favour the cross. Not at all problematic for the goalkeeper. Sané and he's broken free still could be dangerous oh chance taken there is opportunism for you but a disappointed goalkeeper well those stats confirm it Frankfurt have enjoyed the majority of possession but without really creating enough chances they've almost passed the ball for the sake of it they need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this Lewandowski now with Tolisso good ball played over and a goal a quick one too and they've turned this game on its head can they get in behind the and back in business here Bayern very much bossing it in the first 45 let's see what this half has in store for us Goretzka now with Tolisso regain possession and a chance to whip it in here it should be and still a chance well they can keep possession now well the counter chance looks very real Oh, what an opportunity! Nicely blocked! That was perfectly timed, and it is going to be a corner. Delivering it. Muna. Well, wide by a hair's breadth. Almost had it where he wanted it. Error by the keeper, might give them a chance. Sloppy from... Oh, big chance! Oh, and that is an audacious chip! Well, he might smile. The goalkeeper has no interest in smiling. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Leon Goretzka... Given away by Bayern Munich. Lewandowski. And he didn't hesitate. Good thing too. Well, he's so quick off his line. That's great goalkeeping, you have to say. Rafael Santos Boré. Oh, that's a really good run. Now oh, that'll be a free kick. Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. Yeah. 
He'll try his luck here. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Müller. This is Robert Lewandowski. Leon Goretzka. What's he going to do here? Müller. He made it look simple, really. Possession lost, intercepted. Lewandowski. And just slightly offside. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Well, with the final whistle fast approaching, the big question is, can Bayern see this out? They're almost there, Stuart. Well, it's been a decent performance from them. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Müller. Lewandowski. Well, they might be onto something. And a goal! Calls for celebrations again. Two in front. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. It's a weighted pass. Now the attack fizzled out. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Müller. Now with Lewandowski. Coman. A foul, but advantage Bayern. And collected tidily, he had plenty to think about. Rafael Santos Boré. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. And that will be all for this game anyway. And can they get in behind?
Jack it up. Very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Benjamin Pavard plays with Alfonso Davies in the fullback positions. Leroy Zane plays with Kingsley Coman in the wide positions. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Oh, Derek, big chance here. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper, and the danger averted. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Nico Elvedi plays alongside Matthias Ginter in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Well, the shot had just a bit too much elevation. Kone. Read it well. A oh, terrific pass. Might take the lead. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. So underway again here. One nil to score. Lina Embolo Textbook defending inside the box Sané Leon Goretzka Sané Excellent defending Beautifully weighted ball So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Goretzka. Now with Lewandowski. Good bit of pressing. And they could face difficulties here. And that is defending of the highest order. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. Kone. Tuham. And now it's with Embolo. Over the touchline for a throw in. Crossing possibilities. Strong but fair tackle.
Coman. Lewandowski. And searching for his second, but the keeper equal to the task. Well, he's looking really lively, isn't he? Every time he gets the ball, he looks a threat. Stindl. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Possession one. Coman's pass needed to be better. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options. He oh, and a venomous effort. Rattling the crossbar. Well, what a good shot that was. Hit with such power, but it just didn't come down in time. And he read it superbly. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And there it is. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And it was an eye-catching first-half display by Marcus Turam. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. And can they prize them open now? And back with Lewandowski. And just putting it over the top. The referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. How about the cross? And Kone has it. Stindl. On to Leiner. Stindl. Zakaria. Precise ball movement. A very effective challenge put in. Could be a chance to break here. And they know they need to stop him. Opportunity for Muller. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. He's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. It could be up for grabs. That is how to put in a challenge. He's been a bit unlucky to concede the corner. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Embolo. An attack full of promise. On the ball, Zakaria. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Oh, a moment of pure class. Had to catch it perfectly. And didn't he just? Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. A danger here as he runs at them. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Oh, great technique, but it wouldn't go in for him. Well, he just couldn't get enough topspin on the ball. But you have to say, it was mighty close. Well, they haven't been at their best, but these Bayern fans have been brilliant. Just listen to this noise. But... 
It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And dispossessed. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left. And the margin, a glorious chance. Is it going to be? Well, negligent in front of goal. No two ways about that. Zakaria. Well, it's been a good last 15 minutes for Gladbach. They're having most of the ball now. And surely if they do get another, that would be the game over as a contest. Just need to make one of these chances count now. And the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory.
numbering 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, they're playing with a midfield diamond, so key to their success will be the holding midfielder and the player in the number 10 position. They really need to influence the game here today. Can he do it? Still a chance. So, a corner here. Going short. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. 1 0 then. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build up. Bore now just couldn't keep the ball. Schindler, opportunity it is. Second goal for them here. Bode. Tremendously strong in the tackle. It's a good looking ball in behind. Well, that is how to run at defenders. In position. And it's... Two for him today, a masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Gibril so. Kamada. A genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Liner. Bennett's with it. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Kamada. And possibilities here. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. And the danger is averted. And the goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Kone, Marcus Tuham, and on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. From a long way out, and how close it was! Well, when you can strike a ball like that, it's always worth a try. Well, half-time coming up, and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see. Stuart, your thoughts on what we've seen? Well, what can you say? This has been a dismal first half. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Oh, right in the nick of time. Can they hit on the break? There's so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Well, I think it's fair to say the fans aren't too happy with that decision. And he takes it away. And space here on the flank. Not out of the woods yet. 
Well, good defending, clattered out of there. Well, that was a magnificent save. Just how did he keep that out? That's incredible. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Rode. Gibril So. Really vital interception here. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. And there it is, the half-time whistle. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Ndika. Order now. Da Costa. And very deftly cut out. Has a go. And still danger here. Well, nothing untoward happened. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's through here. Surely he had to score, and he does. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. A move of promise on the flank. on cue well not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things 4-1 Rafael Santos Boré well that pass easy on the eye well how close was that inches away Embolo. Bennett's with it. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Zakaria. And he could really get at the opposition. And a very good challenge. So. Santos Boré. Can he finish this? A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. So the current scoreline, and the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. And a strong tackle. given it away not what you want to be doing when you've already been cautioned well they've won the ball back quickly Zakaria promising position this a glorious chance well there's a keeper on song well how did he stop that that's just unbelievable Substitution time it is. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Bennett's with it. And the referee has given them a corner. Oh, great attacking play. The clearance wasn't decisive. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And the ball's gone. And a chance to whip it in here. Oh, great defending. Rode. A 
chance maybe from the wide position. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Bonsabaini. Stindl. That was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Chance to cross, and the danger still on. And so the referee blows for full time, and it. Can he?
Bundesliga in a matter of moments. It is Bayern Munich up against Eintracht Frankfurt. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Smuggled away. And so they start at 11 for Bayern. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Niklas Zule starts with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kingsley Coman plays with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Robert Lewandowski. Being pressed and pressed high. Daichi Kamada. Now a decent position. A wonderful intervention. Well, if the form book has its say, every reason to believe Thomas Müller will make a big impact here, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. They've regained possession. Da Costa. It's a weighted pass. Well, it was close, but offside nonetheless. Well, it's a matter of inches there, but he just went a fraction too early. Coman. Bayern have given it away. And good pressure high up the pitch. Muller. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. What's he going to do here? Muller. This is Muller. Well, that's a well timed pass. And a goal here to open the scoring from Robert Lewandowski and the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now and the flag is up offside well that's just a lack of awareness he was clearly in an offside position Lewandowski Müller went in strongly decisively Defensive efficiency personified. Lewandowski. Well, not covering himself in glory defensively. And he takes it on. And still danger here. And offside. I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. And Bayern moving the ball with purpose. And Lewandowski waiting. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Can he convert? Couldn't grab hold of it. Well, they can bring it out now. Well, half-time coming up shortly. It's a story of Bayern on top. Stuart, your take. Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. And well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Having won the ball back, they might be able to profit. And he's gone and scored to level us again. So back underway. One goal apiece here. And a strong tackle. And with that, the first half draws to... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Kamada. Rafael Santos-Boré. 
fluency of movement. He must finish! Well, how on earth did Manuel Neuer get there? Trying to pick out a teammate, and not the best clearance. Tremendous block. Wonderful tackle. Breaking at pace. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after oh, run. Oh, big chance here! And the problem not completely solved. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment! Well, Bayern restart the game, and that should certainly shake them up a bit. I must say, this looks promising. Lewandowski. Clean challenge. And behind it's gone for a corner. Elects to go short. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. Well, spot on with that challenge. Goretzka. Now with Lewandowski. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Hasabe and does well to keep it in play. Thomas Müller. And he's taken it away. Well, they've lost the ball. It should be. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And time for the change now. Not really the ideal clearance. Still could be dangerous. And in it goes. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Not a fantastic piece of defending, was it? Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Well, not long to go, and really, Stuart, all in all, disappointing from a Bayern perspective. Well, they've been second best, that's for sure, and the main problem has been in midfield, where they've been overrun at times. They just haven't been able to get enough possession. Oh, hang on, Stuart, big chance here! And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Daichi Kamada. Gibril So. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? After no real pressure, he has thinking time. And a fine stop to turn the ball away. Now, what can they produce on the flank? Crossing opportunity. Oh, just can't keep it down. Goal kick it is. Well, he anticipated the cross so well. And in the end, as you said, Derek, he couldn't quite keep it down. It's a good effort, though. Thomas Müller. What's he going to do here? Müller. Not up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. Lewandowski. Oh, that's magnificent goalkeeping. And now we find out it was offside anyway. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for...
Borussia Mönchengladbach. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Lucas Hernandez plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Kingsley Coman out wide. And leading the attack today is Robert Lewandowski. Every pass hitting its target. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Matthias Ginter plays with Nico Elvedi in central defence. And rather than... Derek, he's got to tuck this away. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Well, it still could be dangerous. Zakaria. Here's Ginter. Could play it in. And a tidy tackle. Braille Embolo. It should be! Great defending here. Marcus Tuham. Chance here. Not covering up defensively. Really good high press. Marcus Tuham. Promising position, this. how to rob them of possession Embolo oh what's he gone and done really digging in at the back but still the opportunity Zakaria defensive efficiency personified a really intense pressure applied Thomas Müller. Given away by Bayern Munich. Now, let's see what they can do here. Embolo. Textbook defending inside the box. Couldn't keep it. Fruitful looking attack. Well, disappointing end to the move. Coman. Lewandowski. And he's made headway. And just offside, but by a whisker, my goodness. Embolo. Now there to intercept. A bit sloppy in possession. Thomas Müller. Sané. And Lewandowski waiting. Well, pretty straightforward for the keeper, you've got to say. And really closing him down here. And Müller. Making sure it didn't get past him. They've got it now, what can they do? Well, the manager. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. And Kone has it. Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Zakaria and Bennett's on the ball. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Coman and the ball with Alfonso Davies. 
Promising move this from Bayern. Müller. Able to get a body in the way. Intercepting it intelligently. Schindel. And he keeps going. Schindel. On the ball, Zakaria. And now it's with Embolo. Well, flinging himself up the ball. Corner kick played in. And he failed to get it away properly. And I think the threat has been averted. Leon Goretzka. Müller. And Bayern, the recipients of the free kick here. Good pressure high up the pitch. And he's beaten him here. Zakaria. Bennett's with it. They've regained possession. And Bayern Munich now in potentially a dangerous position. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And Bayern have the ball once more. Thomas Müller. This is Robert Lewandowski. And Bayern struggling to keep the ball. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And Bayern moving the ball with purpose. Pavar. Goretzka. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Well, you just never know about chances near the end. You've got to be opportunistic. Will this corner do it? And short it is. Hernandez. It did look on for them, but not to be. Now they've lost it. Coman. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. Forward momentum from Bayern. Is there going to be late drama in the form of a goal? Lars Stindl. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. That's how to rob them of possession. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Lewandowski. That is that after...
you from the metropolis on the river Main, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. 
I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson and we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up it's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Borussia Mönchengladbach well Derek as is always the case the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game and that for me is the area that's key today and an astute piece of defending It is to be a throw-in. And here's how it looks for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Jan Sommer is the goalkeeper. Matthias Ginter plays with Nico Elvedi in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. A weighted pass. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Good visualization and execution. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Zakaria. Zakaria. Not showing good patience. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Stindler. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Just failing to hit the target with his pass, and it'll be a throw in. So, well, they're on the scent of something positive. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead, and the challenge halts them in their tracks. It is a decent looking attack here. Teammates in the middle. Oh my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! And back underway. 1 0 it is. This looks promising out wide. Can he finish this? Really important tackle. Kone with it. Makes the move to the inside. Can he finish? And he's in an offside position. And the pass could do damage. Credit to them for what this could square the game. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. And that's going to roll all the way through. Zakaria. And room now out on the wing. Da Costa. I mean, Younes. Bit of running room now on the wing. He might be onto something. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Lars Stindl. Onto Turam. Showing a real will to win the ball. Well, the managers will now deliver their. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Bolsabaini. Here's Danny Da Costa. 
but attacking possibilities still trailing but they're upping the pressure Paul is loose oh chance taken there is opportunism for you for a disappointed goalkeeper so underway again following the goal that made things level lovely work to get past his man plays it back Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Martin Hinteregger, effective challenge. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Hinteregger in possession. Daichi Kamada. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. How about the cross? And really tried to blast that one past the keeper, but his radar was a bit off. Could be troublesome. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. Cutting the ball back. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Good bit of pressing. Going well. Teammate available. Keen to take it short here. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Bennett's with it. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Rafael Santos Boré. Bad pass. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Zakaria. Now with Liner. Oh, wonderful bit of skill. Cuts it back. And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort. Stindler. And Bennett's on the ball. Can he put it away? Really digging in at the back. But still the opportunity. Stindl. High echelon goalkeeping there. And played short. To Ham. Well, let's see about the cross. And it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. And we will have just one additional minute. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for them. 